Are there, uh, thank you, by the way, are there areas of the industry that you've seen DDEX solve uh, as a standard, uh, you know, the metadata is there, but yet the industry hasn't adopted it whatsoever? Uh, there's a certain area, you know, I'm a label and a publisher, uh, and musician credits, non-featured, you know, artist credits is something that I don't see labels and at least our distributor embracing whatsoever, and yet it's standardized in DDEX, um, and it now affects, you know, uh, um, not sound exchange, but AFM SAG-AFTRA uh, designates that 5% to non-featured artists uh, from digital radio revenue, and yet... I don't see anybody utilizing the DDEX standard for that data for musicians. First of all, you're right. The DDEX standard, the ERN standard, as well as the radar standards when, when talking to, to um, Sound Exchange and other music licensing companies, they absolutely allow you to communicate that, that communication. They, they, it's part of the standard. Um, but it's obviously up to the company that then creates that data. And if it's an independent record company going through an aggregator distributor, they would need to provide that information through that user interface they have, which not always happens. Yeah, we don't even have the option with our distributor. And like you described, we don't have the ability to, you know, create our, or source our own DDEX, so. If your distributor gives you a platform that does not, I give you all the optional values that you need to store or can deliver, you might be in the wrong place. But I'd say at this stage, in the 2023, every distributor's role, if they're offering a platform, and if they don't have one, OpenPlay can help, uh, they uh, should be providing you with those values that you can use. And it's up to you, the label, the rights holder, to obviously put the work in to make that effort. Uh, and then it's also up to the DSPs that it's going to to make the effort to expose that data. So it's a two-way street in all cases. And, and you know, to, to the distributor's credit, a lot of their weight is waiting for the DSPs to adopt something before they go down that path. Because what we see on the other end is, you just put on all this data, you spend a, a huge amount of time, and it has zero result in the DSP world because they're not exposing it. And until recently, credits were rarely exposed, if at all, and now it's finally a trend. Um, and the only thing I could say is, Keep putting them in because eventually that will catch up. New entrants will come in our space that will use that data. Machine learning is going to use that data. And you're going to find an uplift in your performance, as Neil said earlier, with more of that data and that correlation. But definitely keep pressing those distributors. They, they should be on the forefront of this industry, not waiting until some change happens later. <laughs>